All right, so we'll look at the main range, the main all x values, y is your range, all your y values. So we'll do a couple by sight. So we'll just graph a couple of them. Okay, I'll draw the graphs and state the function. Can we have Stacy Boot and Anne Marie Holmes to the office, please? Stacy Boot and Anne Marie to the office, please. You're going to get a major trouble. You're going to yell that. You, you have to do drama now. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> roast it. <laughs> okay, so. Now we got this one. This here is a function. Fx. Are you doing this like from a page? Yeah, this is all from page 93. You're nice. So I'm not going to give like a big, huge, long explanation for all this. So this is the graph of the radical function x squared plus 2, or sorry, x plus 2. Now remember with radicals, if you're taking the square root of something, you can never have a negative number, right? So your smallest value that you can ever take the square root of is 0. So all your y values here are going to be greater than 0. And my x values are limited because I can't take the square root of a negative number. So the smallest that this here can be, if you examine just what's underneath, would be, oh, sorry, let's go. Yes. Greater than or equal to 0. So then my x values have to be greater than or equal to 2. Right? So then you would say your domain for this one. Would be negative 2 to infinity. Because it could be anything bigger, right? And we'll do this in interval notation. And then my range, just by looking at the graph, I can never have a square root of a negative number. So my y values are all going to be 0 or greater, right? So my range Look at my next one here. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. We're going on the graph. So this graph here has an asymptote, a vertical asymptote, or sorry, a horizontal asymptote. What's that? There you go. I said it's a horizontal asymptote. Yeah. And it's going to be at, and this is the function that would make this shape. Eight over x squared plus four plus one. I don't know why I did that. That's weird. That's just x squared plus 4 on the bottom. So now my domain, my x values, they can just keep going on forever, right? So my domain. So negative infinity to positive infinity. And then my range. 
range. If you look here, everything between, it can be three, but it can't be one, right? So it's going to be everything in between. So it's up to but not including one, but then up to and including three. Okay. I'll do one more. Let's do one more. Just have fun. Okay. How do you get know all this stuff about these things? <laughs> It's weird. Minus one. You're quiet, right? Yep. Who's asking? Tell her said to stop texting during class. Yes. Hi. Sure. Why don't you guys try this one? Look at the x values. What can it can be and what can it can't be? What can um, it be? It says how many percent of the French gets found. Could it be both and? So it would be the middle, would it just be 19 or would it be 5 through? No, it would be both those. So if it said be, both French it and Spanish. Japanese. But not Japanese. If it doesn't say oh, okay. not, then you know okay. it's Okay, and then <clears throat> also with this one, it says how many have studied French or Spanish? Would I. Would it just be that 19 or would it also be that 3? It would be all of this. Yeah. Or is everything, right? Yeah, I was just making sure that. Yeah. No, that's good. So if you look here for your domain, your x values are pretty much all good except for 2, right? So what you could do, there's two ways you could write this out. Uh, for domain, you could either be. So, or you could do it like this. No, it'll be union. No, sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yes. Because you're including both, not just what they share in common. Okay, and then my range. Y can be anything but negative one. So it just looks like this. Could you write that? Could you write it the other way too? Like negative infinity, positive infinity, yeah. except y is not equal to negative one. Sweet. Those are infinities. They're just flat, deflated infinities. They were whales. Yeah, like a fish. Alright, let's look at some algebraic functions now, okay? And we're just going to start with domain, okay?
Okay, so we're going to find the domain of the following functions. What do we? So the first one. Now, do you guys look at polynomials in pre-calc 30? We covered them in foundation 30. I can't remember. Like, do you guys know what the shape of a graph, something an X cubed makes? Yeah. Yeah. Like it goes up and up and up again. Yeah, like it just kind of. It crosses the quadrants. Right, absolutely. Mm. Good. So, for this thing, the graph is going to do something like this. I remember this. This is like you know, Wait, why is it like that? Like that. It's just the basic shape. I thought it was this way. No, it would be like this. It's increasing. Which one's that one? It goes like, it goes like, jumps up. I think you're thinking of a tan graph. Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. Keep going. All right. I'm thinking of a tan graph. So it's going to do something like this. Not exactly, but something, okay? Oh, uh, so it's a, it's a quadratic, or not a quadratic, but it's a, a polynomial graph. It's cubic. So our x's could be anything. So your domain here. It's just negative to positive. It'll be like that for any polynomial, okay? Whether it's linear, cubic, or even a quadratic, right? Remember our domains for the first couple of years were always just x is an element of the reals? x is an element of the reals. So is it always like that unless there's like an awesome into it? Yeah, unless you have, yeah, like you would need like a, radic a rational, have both, a, a denominator. Because once you have a denominator, then you have restrictions on it. Yeah. Um, let's look at That's cube root. Now, you can take the cube root of both a positive and a negative number, right? Yeah. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. So, you can have any number under here. It doesn't matter. So, your x could be anything in the end. Okay? So, boom, three. And we're not factoring. And once again, this one's the exact same. Oh boy, that is awful. That's an age. Well, I don't want to say it's okay. Uh it's, it's no it's no judgment. It's like it's like it's, full judgment. it's like that's really funny. Full judgment. It's I mean, like it it's like the bottom of an eight, but then it's not like side. I don't, I don't know. know what it is that's about really infinity funny. signs, but they're one that. of the hardest things in math. Look at that. That's an eight. Yeah, you started well. Like, you you were starting at eight, then you realized that you tried to like bring it over at the end. It was pretty bad. Nice try. Good All effort. Right. Straight at the bottom. Oh. <laughs> 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 I decided it shouldn't be an age. That's right. It wasn't worthy. On the spot. No. So, now with these guys, whenever you have a, ra a rational one, just look at the denominator, okay? Because the top can be anything. Oh, that doesn't matter. Square. Very good. It's a difference of squares. So this actually... Back down here. X minus 2, X plus 2. So now you can't have either one of those in the denominator. All right? X can't be negative 2 or positive 2. Once you do that, this whole thing becomes um, 0 on the bottom, which makes it undefined. So for this one, um, probably the easiest way to write this one out would be X can't equal positive or negative two. Is there a way to write it the other way? Or is it just like funky? No, you could. Um, yes, no one. It would be three unions of. Oh. It would be from 
negative infinity to negative 2, not including, then negative 2 to positive 2, not including, and then negative 2 to infinity. So just it's the easier way is just to do that. Holy, we need that space here back. Honestly, I think it's warmer here today than it has Oh, it's, it's yeah. way warmer today, but yeah, it's, it's oh. really the way the wind's blowing too. If it was blowing in this right way, through my legs. Yeah, my toes are freezing. Yeah. My 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 night socks cold. aren't cold enough. Okay. I'm like actually wearing shoes and it's cold. Change that sign. Cowboy boots aren't warm either. Oh, no. Once they get wet, they're just destroyed. Oh, what are we doing here, bro? Don't call me that. Jeez. Oh. question. Okay, just let me. What do you got? It's what is like, that? It's is quick. that six sign? Okay, yeah. Yeah, six sign two. It's just the difference between these two. Okay, like, I know this one's and and this one's four, but it, it, it gives you all the, like, the numbers, but, like, they need to find the middle ones, so they're not, like, just the numbers of this, right? Right. So, like... So you have the middle term? Right? Oh, I do have the middle term, so I don't need that. Okay. I wouldn't need it, right, if I have the middle term. No, then you can just, like, <laughs> subtract the middle term from the other ones. To well, I didn't see the middle term. How do you know that? Okay. Did you have to LD? Now, mm -hmm. thinking of what you know about sign of studio graphs. Hey, you can't be here. Is it recording? Yeah. Leah's not here either. Okay, so what you guys know about trigonometric graphs. Is there anything that you can or cannot put in for X? Is there any restrictions on what you can put into the graph? Along the X axis. No, there isn't. If it was tangent, then you'd have to worry about it. But I won't do a tangent one because, like, once you start factoring in shifts and everything, you got to figure out where all your asymptotes are. Yeah. So. Why are all the answers in tangent? What's that? No, honestly, in university, what the first like this is chapter two. The first two chapters here <coughs> are like. Covered in like a lab in an hour, hour and a half. Well, they used to be, anyways. They might have changed it to simplify, but yeah. Mr. Gabert just completely skipped doing this too. The broadcast was. Oh really? Yeah, he's like, you guys don't need to learn this. So now they're just trying to get free. Oh, that yeah, makes sense. Like you guys, pretty. This is just reviewing. <laughs> Wait, what broadcast? Is necessary. Oh, the Dins market. I should ask him about that. See what he does. It would probably make it easier to get through the rest of the book. Or maybe it won't. I don't know. Okay. Either way, okay. Yeah, she what? 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 How many more examples are we doing? Uh, a few more. Oh, yeah. I promise. Are you doing your main boundaries now? No, this is still just the main. Okay, now this was the one we did before. Is it supposed to be equals in there? No. But instead of being it to the cube root, it's the fourth root now. So, uh, when dealing with the fourth root, whenever you have an even power for your root, you cannot have a negative, right? In the end, whatever's under here cannot be negative. So now we have restrictions on our x values. So we can't put stuff into here that's going to make it negative. So you have to go back and do a little inequality stuff. Um, has to be greater than or equal to. Zero. Okay. Factor it and you have to do a little bit of science work with it. Wait. What's wrong with that? Why did you, why did you get rid of the... Because I'm just looking what's underneath here. Because if this is negative, then I can't do this. 
positive. So I need to know where it's going to be positive. So I work that out. Uh, X has to be greater than 4. X has to be greater than negative 3. Okay, now you have to do a sign test, okay? This is what we did in 1.4, 1.5. You know what, actually doing the sign test is good because we do, we do this and calculus down the road, so that's pretty good we're doing. So you do your little line test. Alright, you have your You guys remember this? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Just came screaming back at me. Great yeah. times. So anything bigger than 4 would be positive on this side. Anything less than 4 would be negative over here, right? So close that one. Go ahead. You have to add more negative signs to each of those. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm not enough. That's an adequate amount of negative signs. OK, excellent. You need another positive. All right. You I close your brackets. Too. All right. And then now for negative 3, anything smaller? Negatives, positives. So now, for anything bigger than four, you got a positive and a positive. Both positive, you're good. Anything between four and three, a negative three, negative, negative right? And then after negative three, negative and a negative, we're gonna make it positive, positive again. So this is my range of numbers that cannot be in my domain. Okay. They can include these numbers because zero times a negative is just zero, which is fine. You can take the zero of, you can take the square root of zero, right? Or the fourth root of zero. So you would say that your domain now is um, I do. Oh, wait, those are the numbers you can't use, right? So your domain. Sorry, let's go back to that again. I hope they can't hear this. I hope that you guys cannot hear what we're going to say. Okay, good. We're talking about putting things in place. Okay. What kind of deal? Does that make a little more sense? Just doing the sign test help? Okay. Hey, let's, uh, don't worry about that, okay? Jonathan told me to be invited by my toes. Oh, that's great. So it kind of got me all face. So that may be quite a bit too small, so I'm in my bed. What? Everyone knows that. You have a what? Three toes. That's what I thought you said. Tickly toes. I'm not sure. No more examples out there. This is what we've been doing examples all day. No, I like the example yeah. and then something like Alright. So now we're gonna look at the domain of a log function, okay? Now um yeah, log three, subscript three. Superscript? So now um the main thing to remember right now about log function is you cannot take the log of a negative number, right? So possible. We know that all of this here, in the end, once again, has to be greater than or equal to zero. Now, since it's factored, it's really nice to set up your um, line width. So, once again, you got to do the sign test. So anything bigger than one is positive and also positive. Anything 
less than zero, negative and positive. And then anything smaller than negative two. Positive, negative, positive. I just can't think. Did I not draw enough negatives and positives? Yeah, basically. Wait, so do you take a number smaller than. So you start at negative 2. So negative. That's okay, negative. start at negative 2. So if I put in like negative 3 into both of those. This can be negative and that one's going to be negative. Oh, right. and it's you get positive. positive. And then you put one in the middle, so you take. But zero. Yeah, zero. Negative and positive. So it'll be, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm getting Awesome. There was not enough negatives and positives. That, that was the problem. All right. Last one's good. This one's Textbook does it with a lot. I've only ever done it with one before this. So. The bottom ones are right. Did we do, like, sign analysis? Did we do that? Uh, we did, yeah. but we... Because, like, I'm not annotated. We did sign We only did it in, like, one of us. Yeah. You might have done it, but you, Mr. Heron probably did it differently. Yeah, it was just yeah. Yeah. Uh, So. You did it with, like, in a chart. Yeah. The, the, I remember the, how the pre-calculus pre 30 textbook does it. It's kind of weirder. It's like in a chart. Yeah. yeah. I just tend to simplify it. And maybe I've oversimplified it now. Oh, no, it makes more sense. It makes sense now. Okay. Uh, this is how I was taught in university, and I really liked it, so I just kind of stick with it. Just with more pluses and minuses. Is this university yeah. math right here? Calculus, yeah. Like, we'll be learning this in the week. Yeah. Like, this in the rest. Yeah, like, like I said, for chapters one and two, they just kind of gloss over it and just assume that you know it. So. Bad assumptions. Yeah, so, by the, but because we're doing it here, and they would expect you guys to know your rational rules and everything. Uh, <laughs> or radicals, sorry. Like, they should, you should know how to factor like radical like, Stats, no. Stats is, um, oh, you didn't take foundation 30. It's like uh, counting and probability and stuff. And then you do a little um, central limit theorem. And then maybe, like, um. Did you mark something in biology? Yeah, I put a bunch of stuff in. Oh, so I just got my mark back right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, stats is a little bit different. It's more um, central limit theorem. What else did we do? Remember we did Z scores and stuff? You do more of that. I feel bad for you, but it's just one. <laughs> okay, uh, so here is my negative sign. So X cannot be between negative 2 and 1. So once again. Wait, 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 what, what, what? You're looking into nursing, right, though? Yeah. Yeah, there's some stats class. I took that. Yeah. Nursing, uh, nursing. <laughs> no, I took uh, stats for nurses. Nursing, I was a nurse, guys. <laughs> Which is the one that's like this? Math. What? It's called math. Yeah. Yeah. Math. yeah. Math 110. Math 110. Math 101. I don't think they call it 101 anymore. No, 121. Yeah. What's that? 121. 121. That one's crazy hard. No, it's not that. There's a there's a basic one that's pretty much like high school calculus. Yeah, math 110. That's what the one Dawson has. And it's really easy. They have, they really dumbed down math 110. Yeah, Dawson. Something I'm taking math 110. Like they they it used me 60% fail rate math 110. Actually. Oh yeah. Well, Dawson, like, I, Dawson's test was really easy. Like, yeah. Well, he also took calculus, which helps. What happened to Dawson Yeah. Those are his biology labs and stuff. So that's what messed him up. And his English, no. Don't blast me. My brother's not very smart. Let's just say that. Neither are you. I'm my brother. He doesn't take much. Um, okay, I'll do a few more with domain. I think we'll do just domain today. See the difference between me and, and then I'll do range tomorrow with you guys. The difference between me and my brother is that I have you. Yeah. That, the, the domain I can't have though. a test this week. Just domain test. No, we won't do a calculus test this week. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, do we have a biology test? Yeah, I can't. No, we can't. Can we cancel Monday, 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 Monday. I have basketball Wednesday and hockey uh, Wednesday. Yeah. Oh my God. And. Yeah. Bro, we can I'm just do it on Monday and like move on. 
Let's extend the bio test. Can, oh, I, can I rate mine on basketball? Yeah. Can I rate mine on the basketball court? Oh, while you're playing. While I'm playing. I'm planning on not showing up Thursday. I figured you would. Yeah. Um. All right, we'll do one more, then I'll give you guys some work on here. Are we gonna do range again? We'll do range tomorrow. I'll do domain today and range. Domain. 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 Oh, wow, you're so nice. 1 over x squared minus 4. Why are you so nice? You know I mean? You're so nice. Stop sucking up. You just gave I'm us not, a fraction as a joke. I'm not changing. No, the yeah, I'm not changing the bio. Hey, yeah, you want to change the bio? Yes. <laughs> can we watch Mars next period? Yeah. He starts at 2. Come on. We can do our bio lab and watch Mars. I will set up yeah. PSN lab. No one will do anything if I put this. I will. Carling is boring. I think we really no, need to support Mr. Marsh. I'm going to watch it on my phone high key. I don't care if you keep sitting me off. I'll just take your phone away. I'll watch it on my laptop. No. There's no computers for doing labs. <laughs> All right. I think he's busy. It's going to take a couple days. Um, <laughs> fact. <laughs> Boom, roasted. Now, um, once again, why am I only looking at the part under the radical? Because you, because you want to know if it's negative. Because if it's negative, you couldn't want. Right. I want only positives. So instead of looking at this whole thing, and I'm going to simplify this a little bit as I go. Um, yeah, I think everyone saw the one over the fraction minus four. Gets a little complicated. It's not that bad, but an easier way to do it is if um, what we're saying is this can't be greater than four, right? Now, if you guys remember when we did inequalities last time, the reciprocal rule, if the x is on the bottom, you can flip everything. You gotta flip this, that thing, right? Yeah, you gotta flip that thing, right? So, good, good, good. Oh, one over four. Wait, why is it one over four? It was four over one. Yeah. So then you're solving for what's the square root of one over four? <laughs> Just watch. Well, I'm asking. I want to get ahead of the game. I'm trying to be smart and break the question. Except I'm gonna blurt out the answer. Except that they know. What's the square root of four? Two. Now, what you have to remember is, if you were to square either positive or negative a half, you would still get 1 over 4. Wait. So it should be positive. Okay, whenever you square, like I'm, something squared gives me 1 over 4, right? Yeah. If I squared positive a half, I'm going to get 1 over 4. But a negative a half, Times a negative half is also a positive one over four. Wait, Kate, did you ask me what is four squared? No, it's square root of four. Okay, I was like, why did I say two? Yeah. yeah. I, I was wondering why I said. I thought you said what is this for? What is four squared? You're not too sure. What is four squared? Four squared. Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Capiche? Capiche, I guess. Okay. I'm texting Marcus. Twice as smart as you are. Where is he? Oh, really? I'm twice as smart as you are. I didn't realize. Oh. I'm twice as smart as you are. Okay, on page 99. No, no, no. You're only doing the domain today. Don't solve for the range on any of this stuff. And then we're going to redo all the same questions except solve for the range. Huh? Yeah. So, like, it'll be good because you've gone through and done the work already. So, tomorrow stuff will be even easier. Um, let's go. No. Two. I'm listening to some Thomas Red. Have you been recording this whole time? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You knew that. Okay. What? Even. The first ones are just by sight. That's so many. 
It's 21 questions. The oh, first God. Oh, God. 1 to 12 is all just by sight, like by the graphs. So it shouldn't take you too long. You just you don't have to show any work. What are the next 50 questions? <laughs> That's mathematically impossible when I'm only giving you 21 to do. And the first six. He can seconds. make it 50. Uh, I'm sure with his farmer math, he could. You and your farmer oh face. How dare you? You just put. I don't think you had to drink the mic off to throw up on it. Was shame. Yeah, shame you on put you. Miss Yell told us not to vandalize these textbooks, and what did he do? All right. You put pen mark on my textbook and my finger. It hurts. Aw, poor baby. Oh my god. Can you knock it off, baby? Okay. Baby. Uh, well, I'm <laughs> so that's it.